which occurs on the surface of the liner due to the low temperature corrosion of sulfur. The sulfur oxide which is formed after combustion in the gaseous state combined with the water which is present in the liner due to condensation. discussion is liner wear well we'll be explaining the entire concept of liner wear and different kind of liner wear yeah guys be with me till the end of this video as this video is going to be very informative one for you yes and yeah guys if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and press on the bell icon for future notification so guys let's not waste any time and move on to our topic liner wear and different kind of wear and the concept behind it speaking in a basic way Liner wear makes a huge impact in our main engine as well as auxiliary engine because it is very bad for our main engine as well as auxiliary engine. So we will also be talking about different kind of liner wear such as corrosion wear, abrasive wear, friction wear, flower leaf wear and we will also be talking about scuffing wear. So first is first we will be talking about corrosion wear. Corrosion wear. Corrosion wear is a type of wear which occurs on the surface of the liner due to low temperature corrosion of sulfur. The sulfur oxide which is formed after combustion in the gaseous state combined with the water which is present in the liner due to condensation or sweating. And these water molecules combine with our sulfur oxide to form acid. And this acid really makes a huge impact in our corrosion which is known as liner corrosion. So guys, how can you reduce corrosion wear? What are the remedies? Let's check out. First remedy is that increase the liner wall temperature to a temperature above the dew point temperature of the water acid mixture. The second remedy in front of us against liner corrosion is that use alkaline lube oil which will completely neutralize whatever the acid contained present in the cylinder wall after combustion. The third remedy in front of us against liner corrosion is that use much more low sulfur fuel oil which means limit the value of sulfur content in the fuel oil. So that's all for liner corrosion wear. Now let's analyze another type of liner wear. So next wear is abrasive wear. Abrasive wear it is due to the hard particles of the ash deposits after combustion, splintering of the piston rings, catalytic fine which have got hard particles which will cut and scratch the entire liner surface. So that's how abrasive wear takes place in our liner. The cutting and scratching because of the abrasive particles of ash deposits, catalytic fine and splintering of the piston rings makes a huge impact in our liner wear. Now let's move on to our next liner wear. The next type of liner wear is friction wear. The typical friction wear that is our mechanical friction wear occurs due to the friction of piston rings and liner. Because of the continuous rubbing of the piston ring and liner for a prolonged period makes friction wear. Friction wear is also a type of wear which will make a huge impact in our liner wear and the functioning of our main engine and auxiliary engine. The friction wear on the liner basically takes place when the oil layer that is our lube oil layer on the liner have been depleted or broken down. The friction wear basically depends on different factors such as material of construction, surface finish, choice of cylinder oil, piston speed and engine load, working pressure and temperature, the maintenance of the piston ring, combustion efficiency and last but not least any contamination of scavenge air. So that's it for friction wear. Now let's analyze another kind of wear. The next type of liner wear is clover leaf wear. Clover leaf, it is a kind of uneven kind of wear which occurs on the surface of the liner in the radial mode. And the shape of the wear is in the form of the clover leaf as the name implies. Now the question arises, how do clover leaf wear occurs? It occurs because of the high sulfur content in our fuel. And now the next question arises, where do the clover leaf wear occurs? It occurs between the pairs of quills. Quill is the one which injects the lube oil into the cylinder liner for better lubrication. Now let's analyze the reason for clover leaf wear. 
डिवन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द सिलेंडर लूब ऑयल विच विल कॉज द डिप्रेशन ऑफ द टीबीएन दैट इज टोटल बेस्ट नंबर ऑल एल्कलिनिटी ऑफ द लूब ऑयल बिफोर इट हैज कंप्लीटली कवर्ड द लाइनर सर्फेस हाई कोरोशन वेयर ऑकर्स ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द लाइनर बिटवीन टू ऑयल इंजेक्शन पॉइंट दैट इज आवर क्विल्स Now that's all for clover leaf wear. Now let's analyze another type of wear. The next type of wear is cuffing wear. Cuffing wear is the local welding between the piston ring and the liner rubbing surface, which will cause rapid wear. Now the next question arises: How do actually cuffing wear takes place? It happens if the lube oil film between the cylinder liner and the piston ring is reduced. The reduction of the lube oil between the piston liner and the piston ring may be due to high temperature, insufficient supply of the lube oil between the piston ring and the liner or incorrect distribution of the lube oil in the liner surface. So that's all for scuffing wear that I wanted to discuss. So that's it guys. I think it is enough as we have discussed about what is liner wear and different kind of liner wear. In this video we have discussed five type of wear that is corrosion wear abrasive wear friction wear clover leaf wear and last but not the least scuffing wear so we have discussed five different kind of wear yes so guys that's it for today's video i hope this video was quite informative one for you if you find this video useful share with your friends and yeah guys give a thumbs up to our video yeah guys if you find this video really useful and the content of my channel very useful do not hesitate to subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon for future notification so see you in another episode of marine arshian with much more interesting videos like this this is marine arshian signing off thank you and have a nice day